Tony, you're a great source of inspiration for me and obviously for a lot of people tonight. What would you like to tell them? I'm happy. I'm Does it work? I'm just happy to be here with so many young people. I was simply overwhelmed by this beautiful place. It reminds me of my journey with young people that you never give up because those that have difficulty today will be the solutions to the, world, the problems of the world tomorrow. So uh, I work with I work with 2,000 gang leaders, drug addicts, drug dealers, criminals. I buried 16 of them because of gang wars. But I realized that, uh, that no human being is born a criminal or a thief. And uh, all they need is love to really bring out the best in them because we were designed to be nurtured by love. And now we have over a million people living in our communities all over the Philippines and now also in Indonesia and Cambodia. And to me, this is the, with, this is the proof of concept of the greatness of the human spirit. Tony, you like to call yourself a radical optimist. Can you define more precisely what do you mean by it? Well, it's a choice to be happy or to be miserable. It's a choice to build or to destroy. It's always a choice to look at the glass as whether it's half empty or half mm -hmm. full. So I always like to see the glass as uh, half full and I will fill it up. So we feel that each and every one of us here is a blessing and uh, we have so much uh, to give to make life better in this planet. So I'm here in Bologna in San Partignano and uh, to me this is a piece of heaven and uh, what you're doing here is just a witness to the world that uh, this world can be a better place if we just learn to really love and care and share with one another. And I'm very happy that the LH Forum was done here in San Partignano. So I guess you like very much coming to Europe to uh, meet young people. So I would like very much maybe to get an interaction between you and Tony and maybe Elisa, if you can translate some questions because you have the chance to have Tony in front of you. And I hope that you have some questions to, uh, to ask uh, him. Tony sarà contento di rispondere a delle vostre domande o se avete dei commenti. Adesso io scendo in platea tra di voi, se qualcuno ha il piacere di fargli una domanda o comunque di condividere con noi un suo pensiero, dopo tutta la serata che abbiamo passato insieme, questo è il momento. Someone wants. So you told me, Tony, that you want the Philippines to become a, a social hub in Asia. And you would like to welcome European people to be part of this social hub. So this is the time for you to welcome them to come to join you. Yes, we have received more than 500 uh, French interns. It's about time that we get also the young people of Italy to go to Asia. And the best way to, to enter Asia is to come to the Philippines. Now, we are making it the hub for social entrepreneurs. And so, uh, we want you to discover the magic of the East. And uh, we would like to open our doors uh, at the Enchanted Farm to the people here in uh, San Pertignano, you have such a beautiful place here 
but you can help me build more places like this all over Asia. I have a question for you. Who have been to the Philippines here tonight? Can you raise your hands? None of you. Who would like to go to see Tony? <laughs> How many? Okay, so this is your turn. Please tell me why you would like to uh, go to the Philippines to work with Tony. Can you answer? Is there a microphone somewhere? Io vorrei andare per guardare con gli occhi miei, quindi per avere un contatto visivo proprio a pelle con tutto quello che di bello ho visto stasera. She says she would like to go to see with her own eyes all the beautiful things that she could get through your video. Thank you. You're welcome. And we hope that you will also help us do the, you know, take care of horses, make wine, make the most beautiful furniture. You have so many beautiful things. Please spread it all over the world. Some Can questions? No? I think that's what, uh, what you taught me, Tony, is when you give, when you devote your life to the others, it makes you feel happy. Are you happy? Yes, I'm happy because my four children are all social entrepreneurs. As I showed them this afternoon, my, my two daughters are on the front page of the Entrepreneur magazine. My, my son is putting up the first electric mass transit in Manila. So when, you know, I, I realized that you pass on to your children. Also, uh, you know, the, 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 you pass on to them also the mission to really build a better future. Mm -hmm. My son never went to college. He was on drugs for most of his teen age life. But when he helped the typhoon victims one summer, it changed his life. And now he is one of the most successful social entrepreneurs in our country. Uh, his company was the only company visited by Barack Obama when he came to the Philippines two months ago. So I realized that, uh, that, uh, that life is about second chances. And uh, those that are at the bottom will eventually get up if we give them a chance to really discover themselves. So we, we have seen in the movies that you have started working with drug addicts. What did you learn from them? Well, it is a phase that we go through. Uh, life isolates many young people because they still have to discover themselves. And drugs came into this world when I was a teenager in the United States. And I took drugs myself. And so I understand how difficult it is. And uh, what I am doing today is not the result of all the right things I did, mm -hmm. but it's uh, from the many mistakes that I learned from. And so they, I have that patience to be with gang leaders and drug addicts because some of my friends never made it. One of my roommates uh, died because of drugs. I have seen so much death in my, at my age, and uh, I realize that, uh, that uh, life with a purpose gives life. Mm -hmm. And it is when people have a purpose that they have the sight to live and to overcome whatever addiction or whatever problems that they have. So I see that people here have a purpose. 
And uh, they're not doing this for anyone. They're doing this for themselves. And so I realized that uh, not only will they have a beautiful life inside here, but they will bring beauty and, and goodness wherever they are, any part of the world.